Papers for group number six, so you can mark that down. Group number six. Take a minute. Add your code on. Okay, commercial break is now over. Thank you for coming back and watching our program. We have another Inuit family that has come to join us, so let's take a minute to introduce them. Who do we have here? I'm your father. I'm your mother. I'm Inuit girl. Okay, can we give them a round of applause and welcome them? I want some honest answers today, so I'm going to come to the Inuit daughter. Hi, welcome. How are you? Hello. Can you tell me about what life is like for you as a child as part of the Inuit family? It's very hard. There is limited amount of food source, and we have trouble getting all the animals to make animal skins and coats. Wow, so it sounds like you're very busy doing a lot of important jobs. What's a, day, a typical day like for you? Well, I have to make a lot of weapons out of sticks and um, wood to make the um, string for the arrow. What do you have there? Um, I have a um, bow. Can you show it to us? How did you make that? Um, I got a, I got a big piece of wood, cut um, a string off the wood, and got a stick and tied it to it. Do you actually go out hunting as a young child? No, I just make the weapons for my father. And, and I, I'm noticing something on your eyes. What, do you, what, what are those? The, these are glasses to help with the snow glare. They're made out of bone and um, wood for the side. Okay. Do you find them to be helpful? Yes. They help prevent me from pretty much getting blind. Oh, wow. Do you, do you have a lot of friends that make bows and wear these interesting types of glasses? There's not many people around where I live. We're all spread out. So what do you like to do for fun? I like helping my mom cook and um, clean around the house. Very different than most children than what they do for fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, mother, sounds like you're very busy with your daughter all the time, huh? Yes. What kind of things do you do as an Inuit mother to help out your family? Is it hard work to be a wife Inuit? Okay, maybe you could tell me a little bit about how you cook meals. I know in my house we could go to ShopRite, we could go buy the food, put it in the oven. Is that typical of what your family does too? No. Well, the Inuit world, my husband, he goes to and um, brings home animals and whales, um, bears, anything. Do you do all this with your bare hands? Yes. <coughs> Does it taste good? Are you a good cook? Do you make it taste food taste yummy? Yes. Is that true, husband? <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like your wife is very, your daughter's very busy helping your wife. Your wife is very busy making the food. What do you do all day? I go out and cook for food and animals and make And how do you go hunting? What kind of things do you do to capture your prey? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they make the weapons for you that you use? Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the home that you live in? What's it like? Well, in the summer, we make more of a tent or something. We would take the animals in and start hanging them. We would stretch out. Mm -hmm. We would put those together and put the stick green. And in the winter, we would make it green. So why are your houses so different in the summer months versus the winter months? Because we make a snow house in the summer months, we melt away, and we make a, a, a tent house in the, in the winter time, the snow will knock it over. Like so very different types of seasons you have. What do you find is the hardest part about living in this type of environment? Wife, what do you find to be the most difficult challenge about um, um, adapting to these environments? Well, um, probably, a, yeah, like the climate and how it gets really cold and you have to put on like lots of jackets. And, and 
And young lady, what do you find to be the hardest part about living in this environment? We don't get much food here because there's not, not that many sorts of animals, so... Do you find yourself to be hungry a lot? Yeah. So how do you feel that your parents are doing? Are parents doing a good job taking care of you and keeping you happy? Yeah, I guess. Oh. And, and yeah. what, I right? <laughs> and what about you, wife? Is your husband doing a good job taking care of your family? No. Oh, man. I have to keep <laughs> Why? Yeah, because after school, most of the day, he's usually at home eating all the food. <laughs> the water. Uh-huh. Does he provide a lot of food, though, for your family, would you say? And we already discussed about your wife's cooking. Not, not a big fan? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round.